Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning, party hands. Look at Miss Shelby out there. She's asleep. She hasn't even been out there that long. She's like, guys, the snow feels so good on my belly. It's like 10 degrees outside. She looks like one of those sphinxes, like she belongs in front of a Egyptian. Oh my gosh, we should totally Photoshop that. Hold on a second. Okay, somebody screenshot this and meme it and Photoshop it. And either tag us or send it to us on Instagram or our Facebook page or the Podience group or Snow Dogs Vlogs Twitter. All those links are down below if you're not following us there. Somebody do that. Make her look like a sphinx. <laughs> Oh, there. Oh, she shifted. I was going to say, she shifted her head up just a little bit. She's like, this is great, guys. I could just stay out here all day. <laughs> Memphis is like, I would like a cookie. Can I come in, please? <laughs> so today's vlog is actually being sponsored by Ling Ling Asian Foods. And oh my gosh, you guys, they sent us some stuff. And then I found some stuff in our local grocery store that I decided I had to try as well. There will be a link down in the video description below if you guys want to click on it. Check them out. Check this out. So we're going to have something from this for dinner tonight. This I'm really, really, really excited about. And I, th I think we're going to have these ones tonight, but I don't know. We have the chicken and vegetable pot stickers, and then we also have the pork and vegetable dumpling pot stickers. They both sound amazing. I don't know which one we're going to have, but this is what we're going to have for dinner later. So you guys will have to come back later and check it out and see what we decide to make. So besides the pot stickers and ramen that I have, they also have a couple different versions of fried rice and everything they have can be made in under 10 minutes, which is kind of nice because you guys know we live kind of a chaotic, busy lifestyle. We never know what's going on and when it's going on. We just kind of go with the flow. Sometimes when dinner comes around, we're like, what are we going to make? Sometimes I have it all planned out, but sometimes it's nice. I always have backup stuff in the freezer. Like we can pull this out and we can make it in a few minutes and be done with it. So it's always a good idea. So like I said, stick around. We're gonna make dinner later. For now, I'm heading out. I have to run to the deli and meet up with my mom. Where's my dog? There's my dog. How you doing, huh? Where's Miss Shelby? Shelby's feeling really, really good today. She ate all of her breakfast. She was running around outside. What do you think, Miss Shelby Welby? Um, Update on Shelby's paw. We do have an appointment to go down to the doctor in Flint next week to have her post-op checkup done. But somebody mentioned the other day that they were looking for the scar. You see it? That's all you can really see now that her fur has grown back. Just a, a little tiny spot right there. A little tiny spot. That's about it, huh, Shelby? Shelby's like, why are you staring at me? This is annoying. <laughs> I love you, sweetheart. I love you. <laughs> I think you need a new one. I don't know if I, really <laughs> I was just thinking maybe I should just use a pencil on the table. You could, but that's really nice to have. Yeah. Amy has had this saw cutter contraption thing since we lived in our old house. You probably bought it when we first moved in there. When you were building me the little boxes above the above the windows. Oh, yeah. I bet that's when we got it. Yeah. I gotta go find him a new one though because the saw is really dead and the plastic's all broken. But it works, sort of. I'm gonna show them what it does. So it cuts all, see how the, he's got the angle on that? You can put wood in there and cut it at all different angles. Another neat one was this one too. Oh yeah. Because that way, if you got to make the corner go like this, right? You can cut that. You can cut that. But I don't. I have to make the corner go like this. Yes. Kind of. So I'm gonna go get you some trim and stuff. Everybody wants to know how the bathroom is coming along. So I thought I would show them that you're working on it. I like drywall. <laughs> uh, the dogs are in there eating their lunch. So yeah, we're still working on it. Just we have two bathrooms, so we don't have to be fast. Exactly. <laughs> Alright, I'll go get you some more stuff. What, what are you eating? Are you eating fish guts? Ew. Oh, she already ate it all. Apparently, Shelby likes those fish guts. That was gross. There was eyeballs and bones and weird stuff in her food. Blech. Made it back from Home Depot. Found exactly the same thing as what he had before, only this one is bright yellow. Same company and everything. Made in the USA. What? 
You left your tennis ball outside. You have like 24 more tennis balls in here. You left it out there. I tried to play fetch with you and you didn't bring it back. That's not my fault. <sighs> Fine, come on. Let's go out into the frozen tundra. The frozen tundra. Come on, let's go. Frozen tundra, ready, go. Go find your tennis ball. Don't look at me like that. It's out there, you go get it. Brr, it's cold. Also, I got a box in the P.O. box that I didn't want to wait to open because Mark has been waiting for me to open this. Mark, I got your box. Thank you so much. Check it out, guys. This is gonna have to go, actually, let's just go find, let's go find a home for him. I might have to slide some ones over. Here, wait. So the little jewelry trinket box that got sent is already up here. You can slide over this way. The paintings of the dogs are not staying up here. I just put them up there because I didn't want the fireplace to melt them. There, you slide in there and you slide in there. Look! Now he's got a new home up there with the rest of the wolves. That does look pretty cool up there. And then my cool art piece that I got. I don't I got that so long ago at an art fair somewhere. I don't even remember. Very fitting. I should have filmed that. You brought the ball all the way to the door and then you dropped it before you came in. It's kind of frozen now. It'll thaw before later. <laughs> all right, are you ready to make some pot stickers? We are going to make the chicken and vegetable ones. So we're going to make them using the easy one pan prep method. It looks like there's a couple of other methods, but this one is the recommended method. So we're gonna try this one. I'm not making dog food, I'm making people food. But well, you can come watch. Yeah, you can watch, that's fine. So we're gonna show you guys just how easy this actually is while the dogs sit here and still think it's for them even though it's not. First, we're gonna take the sauce packet and put it in a little dish with some warm water. Next, we got out our skillet with a lid. We're gonna put one tablespoon of oil down into here and then we're gonna lay out the pot stickers. And I will fully admit, I've never made these at home before, so I'm kind of excited to see how this turns out. All right, so we have them all laid out in here. They're already starting to fry. We laid them all flat side down. Now we're gonna add about a cup of water for this size pan. Read on the back of the bag how much water you're supposed to add. And we are going to bring this to a boil. That's what we're working on now. All right, this is boiling pretty good. Now we're gonna cover it and turn it down to a simmer for about eight minutes. This is pretty cool. You don't even have to flip these, which I really like. It's like super simple, super easy. Well, they smell good. All the water looks like it's pretty much gone and I believe they are brown on the bottom. So let's put them on the tray. Ooh, they're all done. They smell amazing. They're like brown on the bottom. So I think I did it right. You're supposed to dip them in there. We don't have chopsticks though, but um, they look pretty good. Hey, you wanna try one? Ooh. So the inside looks all good. This is like dipping sauce. Yeah, you're supposed to dip them in the sauce and then, and then try it. Hopefully it's not too hot, it doesn't burn your tongue. No, cool dog quite a bit. Yeah, good stuff. I can hear that they're crunchy. Mm -hmm. All right. They are actually really, really good. Sweet. I did it. I did a thing. Mm, here, you dip it. Hold on. I'll make Jamie feed me one. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Those are really good. I don't think I've ever had them before. Yeah, I'm not sure what to, an egg roll maybe. Yeah, kind of. They're a dumpling. Yeah. That's what they're called. Wow. All right, well, I'm going to put this camera down and eat some food. That's pretty good. Sorry, girls. It's not for dogs. So to go along with the pot stickers, we're also going to make this ramen. I have one spicy one and one just chicken one. And again, these ones can be made pretty quickly. These ones we are going to go ahead and make in the microwave. Let me open them up, show you what they look like. Ooh. So this looks pretty good. This is the, I'm never gonna pronounce it right, chicken. I'm never gonna pronounce that right. So it's Tokyo style ramen, chicken. <laughs> it 
So now we have to add this. There's a line you can see here. Add some water and then pop it in the microwave for four minutes and 15 seconds and we'll see what it turns out like. That is some pretty fancy looking ramen. The bowl's hot, so we're gonna let it cool for a minute. But it looks pretty good. And there's the spicy one. That one looks really good. I just stirred it up, it's super hot. Look how pretty yours looks. Mm -hmm. It's all pretty. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Still not for puppies. Sorry. We're gonna eat our dinner. You go eat your own dinner. I like how pretty it looks. I like how there's all kinds of different stuff in it. And I like how easy it was to make. What are you doing? Look at Miss Memphis over here. Upside down, right up against the heater. So yeah, in conclusion, dinner was pretty good. Again, I will put some links to Ling Ling down in the video description below. I can't get over how cute you are right now. Like, just, you're just so darn cute. <laughs> is, your, is your belly nice and warm? Is your belly nice and warm on the heater? Oh, oh man. Oh my goodness. How do you even enjoy that? You're so warm. Maybe you like to be warm. I guess you do. <laughs> yeah? Oh, shift more belly on the heater. You goofy thing. Well, now we have puppy who wants a warm butt. And then Shelby who is like, I gotta lay on the colder floor for a little while. And then me who's like, I gotta turn the fireplace on because my toes are cold. <laughs> uh. We're going to go ahead and call it a night here, you guys. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Once again, thank you to Ling Ling for sponsoring today's video. And yeah, we hope you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching. Stay positive, dream big, and we'll see you again soon. Good night, audience. If you love our huskies, come along for the ride. All you have to do is hit subscribe. Follow as we share our lives with our dogs And join our adventures on Snow Dog Vlogs